We've obtained public documents that show a white separatist group has been trying to take up roots here in Lewis County. And now they've literally opened shop here in Centralia. A block away from the Burlington Northern Track that runs through Centralia on Tower Avenue. An unsigned storefront displays art and music for sale. It's this banner with the word Ossetru that caught the eye of resident Catherine Thompson. When you hear people in Ossetru talk about folk or kin, they're not talking about humankind. They're talking about white humankind. The Ossetru Folk Assembly, AFA, made national news when it opened a whites-only church in Minnesota two years ago. The Southern Poverty Law Center calls the AFA an extremist group that is driven by fears of white genocide in the U.S. Fear, fear that this is actually starting to build momentum like a storm brewing in Lewis County. I'm scared, I'm scared for what's gonna happen to the people that live here. Lewis County records show the Centralia shop is owned by Tanner Thayer. On the Ossetru Folk Assembly website, a Tanner Thayer sells what are called folk hymns, just like the ones sold at the Centralia Music Store. We could not reach Thayer when we visited his store. But you get the idea from AFA's own website, which says, we in Ossetru support strong, healthy, white family relationships and genetic heritage. We've obtained public documents showing that Ossetru have been active here in Lewis County long before that shop ever opened. State records show that Ossetru Land Union, incorporated in Centralia nearly five years ago, followed last year by a registered religious organization called Ossetru Northwest. Hi, are you Elizabeth? Um, yes. Elizabeth McBride is one of the founders who listed her address as this Centralia home, where what appears to be a large decommissioned military vehicle sits outside. She says Ossetru Northwest is not connected to the Centralia store owned by Thayer. They're not associated with him or the AFA or any of those people. Mm -hmm. They kind of, they took a really political stance a handful of years ago, and it's put the entirety of our very misunderstood minority religion. It's cast us in a very bad light. It is true that state documents list an Ossetru organization from Arizona that is separate from the AFA. But McBride says this about Ossetru beliefs. Everybody seems to be allowed to have their own ethnocentric, cultural ways, except for white people. You know, why is that? This man was in the house, too, and spoke to me from inside the door. We're being persecuted basically because we're white and trying to do the same thing that other people are allowed to do without harassment. Why? Does that sound fair? That's an argument that Katherine Thompson, a mental health counselor and anti-racism activist, fears will take hold in Lewis County. The dominant culture in America is white heritage. They don't need to go somewhere else to seclude themselves and have the power. They've already got it. We tried reaching leaders for the Ossetru organization in Arizona, but have not heard back. Although this group holds some controversial views, we have not heard any evidence that they've broken any laws. In Centralia, Chris Ingalls, King 5 News.